Well, you know the old saying, when it rains, it pours. It appears that the uh, lender has changed their mind about the farm equipment that um, Johnny made a deal with, and it looks like they're going to be confiscating his tractors and his combine for now. I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to renegotiate that deal or what, because his injuries are long-term. They're just looking as, as a, a risk factor that they don't want to take. So right now they're inside uh, just wrapping a couple things up with tabs, and uh, they're going to be taking everything. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but uh, we'll just have to look at things. I was kind of looking around the barn here the uh, last few minutes, wondering, scratching my head, wondering what I'm going to do. And I did notice this old machine out here. And I'm not even sure if it runs. Uh, we'll have to check it out and see what we can get, if we can get this combine going or not. But in the meantime, unfortunately, I've got to load up the combine head on the trailer while they're inside. And uh, they're going to be taking the equipment. So... Unfortunately, this is the hand that we've been dumped. Well, it's finished. There goes the combine down the road, along with the two tractors. Leaves me with a little bit of grain in the back of a borrowed truck, and pretty much looks like no equipment right now. So that's unfortunate, but, you know, they're in a position that they feel is going to be best for them. And it leaves us to try to figure things out. So, nice equipment, but, you know, maybe there's more ways to do things. I'm kind of curious over here if this combine over here near the trees will work. At least we have a cedar, but I don't have anything to pull it. And, yeah, I just don't know about that combine. Let's go check out this barn over here and see what we can find. I'm sure there's nothing good in here at all. I mean, if we can find some old equipment with my background as a mechanic, we might be able to get things sorted. Well, it looks like there's a, some old, old equipment right there. What do we got? Oh, hey, it looks like there's a tractor. I wonder if it runs. Well, with a little elbow grease, we might be able to get it running. We're going to have to move some stuff in order to get it out of here. But I think with a little bit of doing, this might work here. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Well, you know, definitely all the tires look pretty good. Let's see if we can fire it up. Oh, she starts a little bit slow, but definitely has been maintained a little bit. I wonder when the last time somebody serviced this unit. Well, it looks like we may have a tractor here, but <laughs> I'm not sure how much this thing is going to get done. Well, I'm going to have to move around some things, and uh, we'll, look at, we'll look at pulling this tractor up. Oh, she... Up, oh, she stalled again, it sounds like. Well, I'm going to have to do a little work on that and find out what we can do to get it running. Um, but the truth is, is I don't need a tractor yet. What I need is a combine. Let's go over here and see what we can do. With this little piece of equipment over here. So we've got a combine, we got a header here. It looks like it was parked there. Again, uh, on purpose like that. Kind of overgrown a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Well, and after a little bit of checking it over, we did get, we did get it running. Uh, it seems to be running pretty decent. Let's get it pulled out of here. Combine head attached without a problem. I just don't know how much um, this thing will get done. I mean, we got a pretty big field to do. I just don't know whether this is going to accomplish what we need or not. But at least we got it running.
And let me go in and update uh, tabs and then we'll continue on here. I'll just let that run while I run inside. All right, and apparently tabs is telling me that Johnny was working on this combine trying to get it running when he uh, got a deal with that other equipment. And, but he had been working on this, so that's why it seemed to start up pretty, pretty quickly. And everything seems to be um, in working order because he had been working on it as a project. And apparently that tractor there in the barn was parked there a couple of seasons ago. And it should be a pretty decent tractor if we can get it out of there. So let's go ahead and hop in this combine. It's good that he was uh, working on the equipment here and hadn't let it um, sit too long. It had been sitting there for quite a while before he started looking at it, but it was a little project that he had going. We'll see if the pipe unfolds. Yeah. Looks like it'll work. I'm not sure what the capacity is on this. Well, let's just do a quick pass here and find out how things run. Seems like Everything is in functional working order, though it's old and small. Given enough time, I think it's gonna work. Everything seems like it's uh, functional. We're uh, putting straw out. I didn't uh, actually drop straw in the first couple of passes here just to get things started, but it looks like everything's great. For an old combine, she seems to be uh, performing pretty well. One thing I know for sure, it is going to take a while to do a field this size with such a small piece of equipment. I wonder uh, what that combine's doing there. It was a John Deere right there. That wasn't there a few minutes ago. I wonder what's, uh, what's going on. Let me get down to the end of this row. Let's drive the truck. I'm not sure that, that uh, somebody's sitting in the combine over there. And of course the field out across the street is not needing to be done. I'm not really sure what that is. Well, let's do one more pass here. And then if he's still there in a few minutes, 
then uh, we'll drive the truck down there and we'll find out what the problem what the issue is if maybe he's lost or just pulling off the main road for a break meeting somebody later I'm not really sure what's going on there but we'll get this done we need to get as much uh, straw as we can obviously we're gonna be needing to bail this but I'm just not really sure how we're gonna go about doing that yet but first things first we got to get the crop off the field um, you know it's a nice August day sun shining I mean we got to get this done while the weather's good I think once I get down to the end of this row we'll go ahead and drive over to the truck and then see what's going on with that combine over there It's already 11 o'clock in the morning, and like I said, I got an early start today. But with all the issues that we've had going on, I feel like we're starting to get behind now. So hopefully things will smooth out and we'll be able to get things finished up here. Keep having to do get out and, and mess with the combine to get it running again. Well, it seems as if that combine is still there and hasn't moved. Now I'm really curious. The grain looks good, though. I do like that truck. All right, let's drive over there and uh, see if we can find out what's going on. Maybe they need some help. She's a beauty. Well, now, weird travels fast in a small community. It seems as if the uh, farmer that owns the truck I'm borrowing was talking about this situation down at the co-op this morning in the turn of events that took place. And another farmer offered to send down his John Deere X9 and help us get this uh, field taken care of. And what's even crazier about it is they won't take any money for it. So they just said, you know, the time when they need help, that somebody will help them, and they just want to pay it forward. You know, my grandpa used to say, help another's boat across, and lo, your own has reached the shore. You know, I guess in this world there's too many people out to do things only for themselves and not help anyone else. But it's good to know there's folk around still that are willing to pitch in a helping hand when other people have a need. I suppose that's a key to happiness, huh? Well, we've got grain in the truck and the combine. They said they'll be getting started. They just need to touch base with the boss. And uh, apparently they'll be bringing down an auger wagon and uh, they're even going to be willing to haul the grain for us, which, you know, we'll have to talk about that. But in the meantime, it looks like our field's going to be able to get harvested here. So I wonder if they'll let me drive the combine. It's been a while. <laughs> 